How's it going, guys? Hey. So, I'm Amanda. Shannon. Um, and we are here to talk about our baby making process. <laughs> and what will be happening in the future, <clears throat> I guess. Yeah. So, obviously, we might, we should uh, introduce ourselves more, give some background. Um, so, we met on Tinder. We both swiped right. And uh, I was in college. She already graduated. I just graduated. Like, I want to say like two months before that. Oh, yeah. You graduated in May. Yeah. Um, yeah, we started talking like September, I think. Yep. The beginning of September and basically uh, like FaceTimed and um, Skyped back in the day when Skype was a <laughs> big thing. Um, Skyped a lot just to kind of see... Plus, I didn't have an iPhone. Yeah, just kind of see if uh, we were actually talking to the right person and not catfishing, you know, that whole fun thing. Um, and then about, like, I want to say like a week or so after I started talking to her, um, I took a nice little two-hour drive out to DeKalb and met her. The rest is history. Yeah. <laughs> we'll probably do another post on how, how, the whole how we, we met, met situation. But, yeah, we met through Tinder, and then we dated up until after graduation, a little bit after graduation, that summer after, we got engaged yeah. in 2016. Yep. And then we got married in 2017 in October. Yeah, so we've been together for about <clears throat> a little over four years now um, in total, but married for a little over a year and a half. So, it's it time... Years? It's time to expand our family now. I think we're at that that time where we've had a year of marriage under our belt, and we're both at a good age to have kids, I think. Um, I'm 26. She's 28. So. Yeah. So wanna, I want to have a kid before I'm 30, and so therefore we have to start this process right now. now. So. so what we are doing, we're going to be doing IUI, so artificial insemination. Um, we're not going to a fertility clinic. We're just going to our gynecologist, which they have a fertility specialist there. And they're supposed to be really, really good. We did a lot of research, obviously, on this whole process because this is not just like a normal thing you just go and do. You got to do a lot of research for. And there were a lot of places... Um, around us, we're kind of, we're in Iowa, so but we're on the very edge of Iowa, pretty much in Illinois, uh, and therefore we could have gone to Chicago and gone to a place there, or there was a place in Iowa City that we could have gone to, um, if we were depending on which way we wanted to go about this. Because um, we were talking about IVF, yeah, first, off. and we realized that might not be um, the first way we want to go about it. Uh, we wanted to kind of go the f little bit cheaper route. Not so much only working on money, but see it, it's to see, like, if we can actually have a baby without having to spend the extreme amount of money the first time. So that's our that's our goal maybe down the line is to do it the other way. Pos yeah. See if IUI works, and then if it doesn't, I say just go to reciprocal IVF. Yeah. Don't even worry about IVF. Just do the reciprocal version of it. So, so they'll have your pretty jeans. Yeah. And then uh, I'm obviously the one that's going to be, well, I guess not obviously, but I'm the one that's going to be carrying yeah, the child. Yeah, I've... She passes out from too much pain. One, I, I, I can't do pain. <laughs> and two, I, I knew it was gay ever since I was really little, but I also knew I wanted to have kids, but never wanted to carry one. So I've always come to that idea of, all right, when I get married, my wife will be the one carrying the child. And since I'm your luckily, wife. luckily, she wanted to carry anyway. So it worked out. So, so, um, steps that we've taken so far, um, I've had to lose weight, which I'm still doing. I'm down and killing it. <laughs> I'm down 35 pounds. Yep. 35 since pounds January. since January, thanks to Weight Watchers, which is awesome. Uh, and <laughs> since she's on Weight Watchers, I'm basically on Weight Watchers in some parts of a way. 
Um, and I've lost close to 10 pounds too, which just is pretty not awesome. When, just not when you're at work. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just, you know, when we eat at home, it's, I'm yeah. on it. So, so, I'm on that. I still have a few pounds to go. A little ways to go, 20-ish, but... 20-ish, 30-ish pounds. Feel, feeling healthy. Yes. Which is the most important part. Feeling healthy, feeling better. Um, and then we also met with the fertility specialist and we agreed upon a certain weight. Um, we got our windows open. Sorry, it's beautiful it's out really today. Nice. Don't. It's the first nice day out. Even though I'm in my lightweight hoodie, yeah. I'm just I'm so. chilly. But, and I'm in a beanie, but you know whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Midwest. Yeah. Where it could be spring one day and winter the next. But um, so we met with the specialist. He said. First and foremost, to lose weight just so the pregnancy won't be high risk. And then I have to get my thyroid checked out um, because I'm on thyroid medicine. So he wants to make sure that it's at a, he said 2.5 so that it lowers the risk of miscarriage. Um, he also said, since I have PCOS, <laughs> a bunch of stuff wrong with me. We'll um, go into another video <laughs> of exactly everything that's wrong with Amanda. <laughs> Um, but she, she's Amanda? got quite a bit of things to kind of battle through in order to make sure we have a healthy, um, pregnancy, uh, all the way through and to make sure she is healthy on the same process. So, but we will go through a legit video of everything that Amanda's dealing with a day-to-day -day basis. Um, it'll be called what's wrong with Amanda. Perfect, <laughs> perfect title. But, uh, that way you can kind of get to know a little bit more about what her process is, an everyday kind of thing, um, battling through everything, um, and the steps she needs to take in order to be able to have a uh, healthy pregnancy. So, yeah. <laughs> she she knows more about it, obviously, more than yeah. I do, but... I do more research and stuff. But, you know. Yeah. So, with... PCOS, I was taking birth control, and I actually just stopped um, this last cycle. So we're going to be testing with ovulation strips to see if my body can even ovulate on its own. Fingers crossed, because if crossed. she can ovulate on her own, that's going to save us so much hassle um, that, coming forward. That means that I will not have to be medicated for my IUI. I would just have to go in and do an IUI. Yeah. Otherwise, if I do not ovulate, we'll have to call the doctor and get me on some ovulation pills. Um, Fingers crossed. <clears throat> those come in in a couple of days. So next we can get Friday. Get started on those Start as soon as possible. Yeah. yeah. So we can get started on those as soon as possible to kind of really start out this journey and see if we can actually um, go full force with it or kind of figure out a few steps before we can. Yeah. So. Or to see if we have to meet with a doctor and see what else is happening. Yeah. Um, and the other thing he said to start taking prenatal vitamins um, three to four months before we started trying for a baby so we want to start hopefully in June that is like our ideal month that we want to start trying yeah. so June four months before that what is that I can't even do that March we're starting or yeah we're starting a I, little late uh well she's been taking uh she's been taking the prenatals I've been taking the prenatals the only reason I didn't stop taking my birth control was because we had um, a wedding, and I wanted to make sure I didn't have which would have my been time the of the month <laughs> yeah. during that time. And we were going on vacation also to Vegas, so we wanted to make sure if she didn't have to have it at that particular time, then not to have it at that particular time. So, yeah. The only last thing that we wanted to talk about was sperm, since we are lacking in that department. <laughs> so... We have not purchased sperm yet. 
That's mainly probably my <laughs> fault. But the reason... We haven't we, even looked at it okay, yet. Okay, so basically we went to our doctor's appointment um, about a month or so ago. and No, we met in January. Okay, we went, a while, we went a while yeah. ago. But they we just to kind of get an information of what we need to do and what our next steps are in order to do um, our baby journey, I guess. So what he gave us was basically this big brochure of... It's basically like Tinder for sperm. So um, it's just like a little website that you can go on that they, their choice of a sperm bank that they usually do do a lot of work with. Um, And we can just go onto that, um, pay a little fee or whatever. So that way we get like three months of all unlimited access to basically everything on their site, which is pictures of uh, baby pictures adult pictures uh audio audio clips, clips yeah, and okay. video i don't think you get video okay I think audio it's just audio okay well audio clips so you can and then, hear like, what they sound like the staff impression of the person and all of the medical background and definitely need their history and all stuff that stuff like that so we need to go on and do that um soon so we can at least see what's going on um but we want, since I would be the one caring and since we're trying IUI, um, the only really thing that we specifically are looking for is if they have an Irish descent. I'm very Irish, if, just so you guys know. Yeah. So we're, we're trying, in a way, to get someone that looks you. somewhat close to, not has a little bit of my features, mm-hmm. same of, some of my background um, in uh, that aspect, since it w- she will be carrying, we want to try to incorporate a little bit of me, even though it's not me, into the process. Um, so they have this, like, face recognition thing where you can take a picture of yourself, um, and they pull from their entire database uh, people that have similar characteristics as you. Um, we did that once when I looked, <laughs> like, not look like, when I looked like shit. So um, hopefully... Hopefully, I won't look horrible the next time we do it, and we'll be good. Yeah. So, we're hopefully gonna get on that soon, right, babe? Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, that's so far all we have. But we really want to have a baby, and we're just hoping that the first time is a good one. These are our babies right now. This is our one baby. We one have five out of them. five. <laughs> so that one's Loki. But yeah, we want to add a a child to the mix. A human of, baby to cats. So no more fur babies. Yeah. So, so yeah. we uh, will update you as much as we can on this process. Just uh, when something comes up or when we start doing something new, we're just gonna try to take some time and. We'll let you guys know uh, Keep how. you updated, because I know definitely a lot of our family want to see these videos, just because... I've had people at work ask me about it, too. Yeah, so we, we have a lot of friends and family that really want to see, obviously, our journey, and um, are super excited for us, just as much as we are excited, so... So this is gonna be it. <laughs> hopefully, uh, hopefully we can entertain you guys as much as possible. Um, we're pretty um, entertaining. Yeah, we're normally entertaining, but you know, getting in front of a camera um, is weird when no one's here. is is an interesting uh, thing. But hopefully, we'll warm up to it as much as possible, and you can see our quirky, weird side of things. But we might do some vlogging as we go along with the process. We um, tried to do it today. Once we get a decent camera. <laughs> but I take a lot of pictures. She takes a lot of pictures and videos. And we started a video and then my phone was full. So Yeah, so we I have a camera, so we're going to try it that way um, and see if we can do some vlogging as we it's go. It's going to be a huge camera. But we'll see. Otherwise, it might just be videos like this where we just update you and see how things are going. Um, but we'll see how things go. And yeah. yeah. Well, hope we didn't bore you too much. And this was uh, video one of hopefully the McWhorter videos to come. Of the McWhorter family journey. Yeah. Making baby McWhorter. Um, so yeah. Thanks for stopping by. Click like, subscribe to our channel, and comment down below yeah. if you have any questions or videos that you 
specifically want to see from us. Yeah, we'd well, love to hear and see all your comments and um, just all get to love. know. Yeah, get to know you guys a little bit more and see if there's anything that uh, you guys are fa facing that we might be facing and kind of talk to each other about it because that's the majority of what these videos are about is to just reach out to other people in the community and help each other. So we'd love to hear from you guys. Yep. So on that note, we're going to end here. So bye guys. Bye.